I, I know Kurt's been at the 2311 shop, you know, during races and is very engaged, but with him being out for so long, there's obviously some question of like, could he come back? And I'm curious with you not having a ride and knowing that that's a Toyota ride, do you, I mean, d does that, does his health impact, you know, any potential decision, your, your decision making process at all on as far as whether he could, would or wouldn't drive next year? Uh, I mean, I guess it could. I don't know that it's necessarily been a, a prospect. Um, so obviously I'd want him to be able to do what he wants to do and, and go out the way he wants to go out. You know, I kind of talked about that where he, him and I just had a conversation where, you know, he's like, ah, a Pocono qualifying crash isn't necessarily the best way of, of going out, you know, and I'm like, ah, you're a thousand percent right, you know. So I just wish him the, the best that he can continue to get better and uh, and feel better and, and get through the processes of what this is. It's not, it's no nothing like breaking a bone and being out, you know, with an arm injury or leg injury, foot injury, anything like that. Obviously, it's it's the the melon on top of your head that's very important to your well-being going forward. And so um, just hope that uh, all of that can go well for him and, and he can get back as soon and as safely as possible.